Balance, timing, distance control, of course technique. It's not just a move, how do you work with a move, it's not just a tool, how do you work with a tool. For me, fighting is like the ultimate way of controlling myself and being able to control myself even though somebody else tries to control me. I had a good childhood. Both my parents were around, still together, and had a younger brother and sister, and we had a lot of fun and played outside with kids. You know, played video games, just like all kids. Yeah, good life. I wasn't really aggressive. I wasn't like an angry kid or anything. I just love fighting and, you know, I was always testing myself. One of my friends, his dad was actually one of the founders of the, the Dutch kickboxing and he would train his sons. And uh, my friend asked me if I wanted to train with them and be his training partner. And, and so I did. His dad didn't have a gym or anything, but Every week we would go outside in, um, in the park and we would do some training and I really enjoyed that. I got so motivated, I decided to join one of the, the bigger gyms in Amsterdam and I started to focus on doing competition. The fourth gym had a lot of great fighters at the time. I was just working my way up, and, but to see all, that, all, all those big names, all the talent and, and all these guys training so hard was really motivating for me. You feel that you're making progress like every day, every week. You can have pain, but you can't stop. One quality that I started to recognize in myself is that I'm very stubborn. Um, I will not give in quick and I kept going. I think that, uh, that, that made me strong physically and mentally. When I started as a pro fighter, some of the guys that were like working their way up, just like me, they were scared to, f to fight me at that time. So I had a hard time getting fights. That was frustrating sometimes because you're training all the time and getting ready, getting ready for a fight and you want to you wanna compete, you want to test yourself, and you want to make improvements, you need those experiences. Every fight teaches you something about yourself. You have experiences that you win and it's easy, sometimes you get hurt. All those experiences are important and, and shape you as a fighter and as a person. On the side, I started to train a little bit uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and I got really motivated. So I started to do some MMA fights and a few smaller events. Won a few, lost a few, but 
I didn't really care about winning or losing, I just wanted to compete. From there, I got more serious in, in, in fighting and learning Jiu-Jitsu and fighting MMA. It wasn't really hard to pick up the new techniques because what I realized was that uh, Jiu-Jitsu, as I learned at the Hickson, uh, Hickson's Academy and from Henry Aikens, and, and the wrestling that I learned from Vladimir Matichenko is that it all it, it blends together very well. It was like pieces of a puzzle that just come together and fit naturally. When you're so motivated and, and, and so passionate about like me and fighting and you meet all these, these high level people that are passionate too and uh, they can give you all this knowledge and teach you all these moves and that, you're, that, that are new to you, that's, yeah, that's super exciting. Back in, in, in the history of MMA, which is a short history, you can see that MMA made different uh, transformations. Like at first, it was really the styles against styles. The next generation fighters, the new generation fighters, they don't go through all those stages. They don't train separate martial arts. They will, they will just know fighting. I think in the end, people will forget about wrestling and ground and jiu-jitsu and, and stand-up and boxing and kickboxing. It will just be fighting. It doesn't really matter where a person is. It's great if you see people making progress. It's similar to parents. Like, if you have a baby or a little kid and the kid can read or maybe can talk and start saying his first words and even though it's not really correct but start trying and I think every little progress is, is feels like your kid you know conquering the world and I, that feels great. I don't think there was one moment in my life that I that it suddenly clicked and I realized I wanted to become a teacher. I think I already knew. I always knew. It's a combination of being really passionate about the sport, being passionate about coaching, and also I think I'm not uh, satisfied yet. I bring that, that with me as a coach, that I would love to make champions. And, and I think that's a, a good drive. Professional fighters come to train with me because there's always something in their game that I can help them with and I can make them better. And, and it's great to know that people that are already on such a high level come to you and to learn some more. I learn from them too, like you can learn from everybody, but there's a lot that they can learn from me and that's why they come to me. I would feel better as being the coach of a, of a champion than being a champion myself. I never had the urge to be the superstar. I never had the urge to be in the spotlight. But I would love to, to give people around me that I trust, that I love, give them the guidance to be the superstar. That's, that's definitely something that I have in me.